Hey guys, and welcome back to Titan Tries. This time, uh, we're playing Shellshock 2 Blood Trails. Now, I've never played this game before. Uh, last week, we took a look at Shellshock 1, um, and, you know, it was a third-person kind of... Um, uh, it's not really squad-based shooter, but it's a third-person Vietnam shooter, and, you know, it for what it is, it's fine. It's a game that I wouldn't mind to actually have a better look at at some point down the future. Now, this is the sequel, Shellshock 2 Blood Trials. This released on the... Xbox and PlayStation 3, uh, PC as well. So it was made by a company called Rebellion, again by uh, Ados. But this one is a first person shooter because it's on the 360. And well, everything was a first person shooter during that generation, wasn't it? One click from hell. Battle to stay alive as the rookie GI Nate, immersed in ultra-violent events of the Vietnam War. Use all the weapons at your disposal. Preserve ammunition in a frantic bid to save your brother, Carl, and unlock the secret of White Knight. Hmm. Experience intense psychological horror. Horror? Fear and tension in a war that is worse than hell. Alright, I'm down. Uh, I do like the cover for this game. It's very reminiscent of uh, the first game. Um, nothing special really in the manual. No, pretty generic kind of black and white manual. Uh, can't show you the disc because that is in the Xbox. So we've got some trivia here for the game. Uh, Shellshock 2 Blood Trials is a first person shooter game that was released in 2009 by Eidos and developed by Rebellion Development, same studio that later created the Sniper Elite and Alien vs. Predator series. Um, yeah, I played a little bit of APB, I believe. APB? Aliens vs. Predator, I should say. APB is a totally different game. Um, Sniper Elite, I think I've played one of them, maybe, perhaps. Uh, the game is set in 1969. Nice. During the Vietnam War and follows the experiences of a rookie soldier named Nathaniel Nate Walker, who joins a special operations unit and faces various missions and challenges in the war zone. The game features realistic and graphic depictions of the brutality and horrors of the war, such as torture executions, booby traps, napalm strikes, and friendly fire incidents. The game also explores psychological effects of the war on the soldiers and interactions with the local civilians. The game also introduces a supernatural element to the war. Mm, okay. Really? All right. As a mysterious virus known as White Knight turns some of the soldiers and civilians into bloodthirsty zombies. What? What is this? The virus was created by a French scientist who was experimenting with ancient relics in Cambodia. Okay. Sure. The game received mostly negative... <laughs> okay. We got a stinker on our hands by the look of things. Uh, mostly negative reviews from critics who criticized the graphics, gameplay, AI, uh, story, and voice acting. Some reviewers also found the game too controversial and disturbing for its violent and sexual content. All right. The game was banned in several countries, such as Australia, due to its excessive violence and depiction of sexual assault. The game was also censored in some regions. Alright. Well, it's a fucking zombie game, is it? Really? But why, though? <laughs> uh, let's find out, shall we? Alright. Shellshock 2. What do you got for us? <laughs> Straight away is a biohazard symbol. Ah, uh, sure. I was not expecting this, guys. Rebellion. They also made a lot of uh, Warhammer games, I believe. Was it Rebellion? Yeah, 
pretty sure. So here we go. Shellshock 2, a Blood Trials. Game automatically saves data to the selected storage device at certain points. Do not switch off the power or remove storage device when, rot when a rotating biohazard symbol is displayed. Well, alrighty then. If you say so. Uh, I guess we'll have a quick look at the, t the options. Are we left-handed? No. Uh, sure. We have subtitles. Sure. Uh, game options. Crosshair. Yes. Excellent game options. Definitely needed its own page. Uh, auto save. Yes. Why not? All right. New game. Medium as always, I suppose. Fall of 69, and I'm on a bird to Nam. Drafted like the rest of those grunts. We fucked up this war and lost so many kids, and now it's my turn. Some dickwad sergeant tells me I'm important. He's given me a special assignment at the border. The border of hell is still hell. I ain't never been so scared. I okay. I mean, I, I don't know what to expect. I, I didn't know it was a first-person shooter. And I didn't know it was a horror game, so... Cool. Vietnam. I didn't know then why they'd ship me straight off the plane to some shithole outpost up on the tri-borders. Didn't know why they'd seconded me to some psycho nursemaid named Griffin. All I knew at that moment was those hellish sounds. The sounds from that room made me want to run far away from that place. I wish now that I had. Bear up, pussy. Now listen to Griffin. Maybe today you become a man. Uh. <laughs> Give me 20. 20 cc's. Nah, 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 fucking cc's. Didn't know then about White Knight, something top secret the army had lost up in Cambodia. But this was the day I would start to find out. Real red letter day for pain and fear. And madness. Saddle up, bubblehead. Come on, I ain't got all fucking day. Ah, free drugs. What do you know about, uh, white night? They sent special ops squads out into Cambodia after white night. All lost, except one man. He came out insane. I didn't know then. But that soldier and those hellish screams were the reason I was here. Well, that man in there is the last man to see White Knight. And we need White Knight. Only problem is, looks like debriefing ain't on his mind for today. Or any other day for the rest of his life. Well, that's why you here. This, this ain't right. <laughs> that's the first sensible thing you said all day. That soldier. The soldier who had escaped White Knight, the soldier strapped to the bed, was my brother. Hey, don't you recognize him, fucko? Or maybe you forgot what the kid smells like, huh? Time for some brotherly love! He's loose! Get the tractor! Cal? Walker, back off! DC breaks the perimeter. I don't know. All right, that's not a bad setup, actually. I like that. Escape from the bar. Okay. Cal, where's Cal? This way. Yeah, where's Cal gone? And what exactly has happened? Apart from the fact that everything has just shit the bed. I mean, graphically, you know, for a 360 game, it looks fine. Voice acting has been fine. Pretty mid. Good lord. I was not expecting this, and I just heard a cat. At least, I think that was a cat. 
So apparently we're in a bar. I thought we were in some kind of like high-tech lab. Who needs help? I am here to help. Apparently. Unless you're a North Viet Cong and then I'm here to make you die. Oh, hello. Ooh. Press buttons in the order they appear on screen. Good lord. Oh, Viet Cong, huh? Bok bok. We now got ourselves a chopper. Alright. You know, this is actually illustrating what a big jump the 360 was from the OG Xbox, to be fair. This way. Um. Walker! Cal Walker! Cal, stop! You tried to kill him. I tried to stop him. And I'll keep trying until I do. Without a running fucking commentary. Alright. You want to have a fucking cry, you do it on your own agenda. Right now, it's time to cook. Yeah, this guy is a piece of shit. Not a fan. Quarantine zone. Whoa, oh, that's awful. That's the sprint. Oh, that's not good. Alright, we're evacuating. We're evacuating. So I don't know if there's like stuff to pick up or anything. Um. Why? Hello. I guess we can't do nothing with him. You can come through if you like. I'll chop ya with me chopper. Invitation to those bastards. Well, all ass. Holy shit. Alright, <laughs> I'll grab a weapon. So we just cut this dude's throat. He's a little bit delirious and out of it. Okay. Old schoolhouse over the river. You hold up there, I'll come find you. I'm gonna find us some transport. Yeah, you do that. I like the way you just knife one of our own dudes. Jesus. All right, can we read up any other stuff? So we gotta to get to a schoolhouse, and we ain't going through that door unless there's a way of opening doors that the game hasn't explained to us yet. As this game is explaining like everything. Ooh, hello. Right, dude. Uh, okay, it's not 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 fantastic. Not fantastic, like the way the guns work, but you know, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, there's a sniper. Definitely don't want the sniper. So, how? Where the? Alright. Yes, we're sprinting. We're sprinting. Running away from the danger. Oh, hello. Dude. Alright, the dog's invincible. Fair. Didn't really want to kill the dog anyway. You know what? Mama always told me to clean the table before I leave. Uh, well, your mama should have told you to do it quicker. Oh Jesus. Now one thing I will say is the frame rate is kind of problematic. 
So you actually have to like look at ammo to pick it up, which is, I mean, that's unique, I guess. That's not that unique, but not super common. Not sure what I think of that. Hard to tell where the enemies are by the sound. Oh, wasted his ass. I'm guessing our health regenerates. Which is good. There's a baby. Wouldn't be surprised if this game makes us waste the baby. I guess we're going up. Seems like a decent way to go. I mean, I'm I'm interested. That's for sure. Oh, hello. Careful now. Open his head up like a watermelon. Grab the ammo. Probably gonna need it. Yink. I'm guessing there's like a limit of how much ammo we can actually pick up. It certainly seems quite challenging to walk upstairs. Did they open that door? They did open the door. Let's go peek. Beyond the veil. Alright, my headset's screaming at me that the battery's low. Which is great. Evening. Any shit pickles? Want to announce themselves? Oh. He's kind of gone full circle. So I guess we're going to head upstairs then. That's fine. <laughs> Let's do this really off putting run. Yeah, not a fan of that running like animation. At all. I mean, that's just fucking shit. Evening. Yeah, the same to you, dude. Couldn't agree more. To butt, to shoot. We're gonna shoot the fucker, of course. Why won't we shoot him? Bitch just tried to kill us. And that is a lot of jam. Well, at least he doesn't have to worry about zombies. Yeah, so the lighting effects seem to be what's really hurting the frame rate the most. Like, so, hoo -hoo, hello. Evening, anybody? Is that somebody? Yeah, apparently that is someone shooting. I don't know where they're shooting from. Downstairs? Ah, oh, hello. Shit pickle. Let's open your head up like a can of beans. Sounds like there's more than one of them. There he is. Oh, God. Very, very twitchy kind of aiming system going on here. Probably something that I could get used to, in all fairness. Hmm, okay. Any other goodies up there? But dude, come up and fight me like a man. Not a man zombie. We don't like man zombies. I don't know if this game's backwards compatible. But probably would be... Whoa, okay. Definitely would be better to play it backwards compatible. There you are, you little shit. Better? Bitch. Yeah, you'd absolutely want to play this through back compat. Because, oof, this frame rate. You know, it's difficult to aim and get too immersed when you're counting the frames. And I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I guess we're going the right way. Freeze! Make it like a fucking statue. Uh, what the fuck is that? Shoot first, I guess.
Oh, hello. You know, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Black. Can you just say free fire zone? I like that. So when you gun it, clicks empty. It doesn't look like it reloads automatically. Which is worth noting. Wakey wakey. Wakey wakey. Eggs and bakey. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't know what he's letting off rounds for. Let's keep collecting as much ammo as we can. Well, if you had stayed quiet, mate, you might have had a chance. There's that fucking baby again. Alright, dude. You watch my ass. I'm gonna have a little look. Oh, we have an American rifle, a good old M16. Now, is it better? I don't know. But I guess we're gonna find out. I guess there's an ambulance on the way. Let's hope it's not a zombie ambulance. They're the worst types of ambulances. Oh, dude. He just like pistol whipped me. Bitch tits. Right, how are we doing? So I don't know if we need to pick up like specific ammo for this rifle. Or whether we just get like long gun rifle ammo and pistol ammo, just generic pistol ammo. I don't know. Oh, something. Something's happening down here. Well, that was bad. <laughs> that was really bad. Okay. I guess we just fragged a lot of them. Our mate did a pretty piss poor job of sneaking. Absolutely riddled. Oh, I'm getting Ugh. shot in the back and up the ass by someone. Ah. Ah. Ah, so we're actually. Come on. I'm stuck on something. He's gone. Oh, hello. These guys really do hide. Oof. Oh, shit. It's crying women. Well, I'm not surprised if they saw something like that. That's a lot of knives. Is there a crazy woman here? Ooh. Somebody sounded like they just drew a breath. Hello. Hello, right, dude. American rifle. Wow, this place has been decimated. Stay frosty, I guess. Check those corners. Oh, checkpoint. We always know we're going in the right way because uh, the checkpoint tells us. Okay. Oh, there's our friend. Almost blew his ass away. Sounds like there's a pupper around here as well. Get in here, boy. Boy. Um, I'm in here. Thought there's going to be more to that conversation. Oh, dude. This is bad. Oh, shit. I guess here comes our extraction chopper. Oh, nice. Letting those rockets fly. 
Mission objective, recapture the bridge. Yeah, you're in that schoolhouse, dude. Right, this bridge is ours, apparently. We've got a heavy machine gun. Sure, I'll mount the machine gun. Does that mean enemies are going to come this way? I mean... I can absolutely see why this game didn't exactly get what we would call rave reviews. It's not exactly Halo 3. Oh god. Like, dude, you might want to not be there. Just saying. Looks like this thing's actually cutting them in half. Which I'm, for one, I'm enjoying. Wow, the gun overheats. Really quickly. It's worth knowing. Oh, hi, sir. Maybe not charge someone with a heavy machine gun. This isn't quite World War One. Time to rack those body counts. Go, dude. Good of you to turn up and stop the fighting with your magical god powers. We like that. Not sure how that stopped the fighting. I think that's a little bit above my pay grade, to be honest. I guess we don't want to get the gun wet. Bad shit out there. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. What have we got here? Pick up what we're picking up. Grenades, apparently. And... Some bullets. Grenades and bullets, huh? Well, that's the soldier's favourite diet. You got gas? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Gas is the worst thing we want to encounter right about now. Is it zombie gas? I hope it's not zombie gas. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> nice. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Wow, that gas kills you pretty bloody quickly, huh? Yeah, so I can see. Um... Oh, let's hose them down. Let's hope our M16 doesn't overheat and deform. Man. It's like they're fighting on home turf or something. Definitely could use some more bullets. Last mag. <laughs> um, hey, anyone got any ammo? Ah. I guess you do. <coughs> Am I on my own? Quite possibly. At least we have some well placed explosive barrels. It's certainly going to turn the tides. Go on. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, it's weird that your gun doesn't like auto reload when it's out. It's gonna take some getting used to. Go, no, buddy. Have some bullets. There's another one down there. There he is. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the Viet Cong. Shit, we're out. We're out. Shoot him. Ooh. Literally, <laughs> literally turned his head into meat chunks. <laughs> that was cool. Alright. Um, more ammo. It's like our entire squad dead. I think our entire squad has been turned to potato chunks. Which is fine. Only the strong survive and all that.
Well, I this is trying. bad. You want Walker? I'm Walker. I will help you. You want Walker? I am Walker. Walker, you come with us. Help us. Talk to us about where we find White Knight. Can't you see? Take him! Uh, hiya, sweetheart! You finished playing cowboy? BC Special Forces here for your dumb fucking brother. All ass! Huh. I mean... I don't know what to think about that. What it's got to do with the original Shell Shock, I couldn't tell you. I mean, it's now a first person shooter. I mean, I suppose it's set in Vietnam, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a zombie game too? Fuck it, we'll put it on the list. We'll, um, we'll play through it at some point. Why not, I guess. Um, sure. Uh, it was it's got a lot of issues I, I need to see if this game is actually backwards compatible because that's going to be tough playing that with the frame rate you know when any, anything happens on screen the frames tank literally down to like a slideshow it's like we're talking single digits man um, I know the 360 and the PlayStation 3 had serious issues with frame rates, but that was particularly bad. Uh, we'll see um, what the actual full game's like. But uh, anyway, uh, Shell Shock 2, Blood Trails, everybody. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.